Welcome to Crazy Gamer Models. I am the Crazy Gamer and I do models. Let's talk Battleship USS North Carolina weapons upgrade review. So we're going to take a look at the weapon upgrades that I have for the Battleship USS North Carolina. And um, I'm going to go over what the weapons are first. Um, she was armed with nine 16 inch 45 caliber um, guns. That's the the three turrets. They're positioned in three turrets, each um, independent. Each of the guns were independent. Um, I'm using the standard um, gun barrels and guns that come with the um, the kit for that, with some photo etch upgrades going onto that from the Eddard kit that's already been reviewed. And then she's equipped with 25 inch 38 caliber and um, Mark 12 gun assemblies and um, I have an upgrade kit for those that we're going to take a look at, two different kinds we're going to look at and we're going to try to determine which one we want to use and then we have 60 40 millimeter 36 caliber guns, these were anti-aircraft um, and these were in quad mounts so it was a four, four in a group um, so I have upgrades for those and then also we have 48 20 millimeter 70 caliber guns these are the Oracle um, these were uh, manned um, basically anti-aircraft machine guns now the the 5 inch 38 caliber they were dual purpose guns so they could put um, ballistic downrange um, on a target or they could be used for anti-aircraft and they were used with um, a target with the same well, a targeting computer like that was for the nine inch, the nine sixteen inch guns. But um, first, we're going to look at the twenty, the twenty millimeter um, machine gun upgrade that I have now. It comes with the um, Edward kit comes with machine guns, but I wanted to try these Alliance model works to see how I'm a big fan of their products so I wanted to see how they did their 20 millimeter guns and then maybe mix and match them give a little bit of different now what I notice here right away is these guns are ready cut these are ready cut guns so uh, let me put this behind it. As you can see, there's no fret. Well, oh, there is. Never mind. I, I, I lied to you. There is a couple fret connections. They looked ready cut, but the fret connections are so tiny. So, yeah, there are little bitty fret connections. You're going to want a teeny tiny scalpel blade to cut these. I wouldn't recommend using any kind of scissors or anything, but you know, you do you. But that's what. Uh, these 20 millimeter guns, there's 15 on here. Um, you can have 10 twins or 15 singles plus 18. I'm not sure what that means. So let's let's see if we can take a look at the instructions here. So we have this piece of paper here. We're gonna go back out. Come up in here. So here we go. Thank you for purchasing. Um, this set contains photo etch materials to construct the weapons on its twin tens or individual 12 um, mounting formats. The individual mounted guns could use either fixed kit parts, base or movable base, PE parts included. The twin mount guns have two different options of sights, um, eight of them with iron sights and eight of them with optical sights so a little bit of the instructions cut off there and you know they have basic instructions with the curl press make multiple drill hole all that stuff so basically here's how you're making the singles which is what we're making it looks like we're folding the gun together um, and we're gonna add it to this which is part five. I guess you can use five A or B here, depending on the site. So, and then here you go. Here's your kit part. 
and then you can use the movable single you can use this optional part three so there's your kit part and then you have your ammo drums um, looks like you have a little wheel um, there's your twin mount if you want to go with a twin mount um, I believe we have all singles so and here it's showing you folding up the gun shield down here right down here you're folding up the gun shield so which is this right here um, this is for your movable um, here's a mount system here or a kit part mount um, cut to make fixed mounted uh, basically you know the instructions are not the best laid out I mean there's a lot of go here go here go here but we'll figure it out I'll make a couple I'll make a whole video on making one of these making make two or three um, I should have a couple extra where I can make um, some of the twin mounts make a twin mount just to show how it's done um, it looks like the shield is what you're limited on so so that is that is the 20 millimeter Oilicon. It is NW35052. And it's just a 1350 scale um, US Navy um, World War II um, battleship. Um, battleships and destroyers, I believe. So, um, and I have, I, I acquired a quite a few of these um, right here. I got four sets. So I made sure I had enough. So made sure I had enough of those. Um, and then oh, we'll get we'll get to that in a second. Now let's take a look at the. We'll go up from the size here. So we're going to take a look now at one of these. Well, two of these 40 millimeters. Now these are the 40 millimeter quad mounts. This one has a shield, and this one does not have a shield. Now, why are you saying, why are you going to get one with a shield and one without a shield? Why are you going to do that to yourself? Well, I want to try these with different um, looks and see. Because some of the shields that come with the Tom's Model Work set are fantastic. And I wanted to give me the option to use those shields. So we're going to look at one here with a shield first. Now, this has resin and um, PE parts in it. As I said, this is the one with the shield. Get these guns out of here. Now these are going to be good chunk of these are going to be resin. So I'm going to have to take these out. So here we go. We got six. You know, we got two, four, six, twelve barrel, twelve sets of two barrels, right there. Teeny tiny, great connection point on these. Um, they're going to clean up beautifully. Um, there's a little bit of flash in between. Um, a little bit of bending on some of these. But um, I don't think there's a little, little bit of bend on that one right there. A little warm water. We'll get that cleared right up. And then we have... Okay, so these shields are resin. So these are the shields right here and they are resin. So that's what I was wondering. And then you have a wrap around for the shield that is PE. So let's take a look at the PE here. So take a look at the PE. There's you get three of these sheets right here. And that, that looks pretty much like some of your shields too. So let's Put that there and let's take a look at the instructions. Uh, this is just a small instruction here. Super tiny. Part one, part two. So you got six resin quad mounts, 24 resin boofer guns. Um, so okay, so the resin pieces are the quad mounts. And then you have three fets of three frets of photo etch containing the gun shield assemblies, gunners, chairs, aiming points, and elevation machines. The quad arrangement of 40 millimeter Bofor guns were installed on, you know, cruisers up to aircraft carriers. 
uh, smaller ships were with twin mounted so which you can also get from them so this right here is uh, bend angles according to the resin so this is for the shield here and then we got a little bit of anti-skid flooring there and then we have the resin guns which you clean them up you put some sights on some resin pieces um, push out grooves so I'm assuming the light green is going to be the resin parts so I emailed the company to see if there was a way to print these instructions in a um, fashion that is easier than having this little bit of folded up paper that comes with these kits because it, it is it is quite annoying they're all different sizes and if you want to keep all your all your instructions together you know you're gonna have a lot of problems because you know you basically got to put them in the box and keep the box in um, if you watched any of my other photo etch videos I have a lot of Alliance model work stuff especially in their 700 scale and the instructions are just they're 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 weak in the first place the instructions are weak but I mean it's all the information you need is there it's just you know like I said this is a little quarter sheet of instructions and that's you know a little bit more instructions would be nice so that's the one with the shield that one is NW35030 now we're gonna look at the one without the shield I'm assuming the photo etch is gonna be different but everything else is gonna be the same so yeah so you have your gun barrels which you know look roughly better and then you have your mounts which didn't look bad in the last one and then now you have one fret with your frames your anti-skid and no shield so you have basically six of them right there so again it makes six guns so and we'll see what these instructions look like just for giggles basically just uh, you know weight limitations is why they were stole without shields is what this basically says and it folded up the anti-skid and basically the same as the back and they actually show one with the shield completed so again tiny little instruction sheet um, that just oh that gets me every time the tiny little instruction sheet I'm telling you I don't know why they couldn't just make a you know have you I mean I went on their website to try to print them out and just no can't do it so I got um, those um, 10 or 12 12 of these so I have two two sixes um, two sixes right here so I got you no know, I got enough of the quad mounts there now we're going to take a look at the two uh, 5 inch 38 caliber guns here these actually have machine brass barrels and I again got ones with blast bags and ones without blast bags just to you know choose the one I want so these these are not expensive at all so we're gonna take a look here at this sorry the camera was swinging there so and these are for cruisers and battleships so we're gonna take a look at the one with the blast bags and right there is nice little resin block that popped out so basically it's a bunch of resin and there's six turrets in here okay I see six turrets but no no there we go there's the barrels so as you can see, you know, in 1 350th scale, the barrels are tiny. 
I almost didn't see them. So they're a little bit better than the resin and their singles. So there's there, and then you have your mounts. They even have a little hole to mount the barrel in. So nice little hole there to mount the barrel in. Um, I take them out of the bag with a resin. It normally has that oil on there. So, and then you have a small piece of photo wedge that has your walk ladders and whatnot for it. So you get your little walk ladders. Now let's see what we have here for instructions. And this is with, with the blast bag. So the blast bags are molded on to the unit itself. And that is these sections right right there. This section right there and right there. Those two are the blast bags. Okay, so for cruisers and battleships, you got the ladders, you got to bend them up. <laughs> Photo edge bender I recommend for this. Um, and the brass barrels. That's, yeah, that's basically it for these. Not a whole lot of these. Um, nope, not a whole lot comes with the instructions on what stuff means. Um, so, basically, you know, you've got an optical cider for checking stuff out on these things. Look at that. So, I am not going to attempt to get those back in the box because they were packed in there. So, now we're going to look at the ones without the blast bags because, again, I don't know what I decided on. And uh, the barrels are a little bit longer on the ones um, with out the blast bags which makes sense so I'm already saying I might want to use these well, these were bagged a little bit different and then there's this basically the same piece of photo etch same piece of photo etch right there with the ladders on it so and then here's what they look like without the blast bags um, there's pictures of the North Carolina with or without them, so we'll, I'll take a look and see what we're going to decide on using. So I have enough for each one. Uh, so basically very, very bad instructions. And they look exactly the same as the last ones. Just crappily photocopied. So that is those. So these I could probably get back in there. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna worry about that. So let's go and then we'll talk about right here. These are ammo boxes for the 40 millimeter Bolfers AA guns these are basically surrounds that go around all the mounts and they store all these little ammo boxes so this is kit number 35023 um, and it's basically a um, bunch of ammo so which is super tiny super tiny pieces of ammunition so and then they hang in there like that and they basically go around there for a little added detail just for reference I didn't tell you these numbers the um without the blast bags is NW35051 and with the blast bags is 35050 so let me show you some stuff real quick in here and we're gonna look here uh, yeah see this one if you look at the guns on the North Carolina in this picture there's no blast bags on these but let me see if I can pull up here yeah so we're probably gonna go without the blast bags on these but if I can pull up one of these 40 mil, yeah, see, if you look at this 40 mil um, quad mount right here, the, 
the 40 mil quad mount right there you can see that ring of ammo box ammo going around there to feed it so basically that's what um, this is for right here is to feed all of those um, 40 mils and then like here's a picture of the the 20 mil gun right there another picture of the 20 mil so they're all singles um, there's a better picture of the the ammo rings that go around there with the, the different things. And if you look at the actual big guns, they actually have blast bags on them. Um, let me see if I can pull a better picture of the five inchers. Yeah, see here's a closer picture of a five inch without the blast bags on it, right there. So, and this is basically how I'm going to reference my, um, my, my references. What I'll tell you what I wanted to find was these practice guns right here. Um, I can't seem to find a set of practice. I'll zoom out here. They're five inch twin practice round, um, practice guns, um, on the starboard side between the five inch turrets, um, basically practicing targeting and things like that so but again this book is this book is it man I'm telling you for building this is the book to go so that's going to do it for this look at the, the the gun upgrades for the North Carolina um, I plan on releasing this video um, there'll be two videos before this of the other photo etch and then there'll be a comparison and an overview of what I think of them before the build starts and the build will be starting very shortly so it'll be on Thursday so we're gonna do um, spooky ship Thursday we're gonna talk about some cool stuff that's happened on the North Carolina while we're building it some cool uh, you know spooky stuff that, that goes on the North Carolina because you know people died there spooky stuff could happen so it's gonna be spooky ship Thursday it's gonna be coming up um, we're gonna get this Thursday which is today this is going to be the release of these um, upgrades, and then there's going to be a comparison, and then we're starting the build. So that's going to do it. Like, subscribe, visit the Patreon page if you so choose. For Crazy Gamer Models, I am the Crazy Gamer. You guys have a fantastic day.